Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will talk about adaptive family so this is series 2 if you didn't watch the previous one I highly recommend you watch the previous one adaptive family video and come back after that who those who already did it so let's get started so and as always we will start from the scratch I not will use that one and I not will use this panel to explain what's going on I will just delete what I can see right right on your screen and we will create the new one so uh, if you remember the previous video we should create first our adaptive family so the first thing what I will do I will show you right now on the screen uh, we will create like four points like this because we will try to create the panel uh, we will connect these points by the lines like this and after that we will extrude a bit it like this and we will make it adaptive so when we will finish the extrude and we will finish with this point we will create the frame i mean the the glass on the middle side so i think this is will be uh, interesting and you will understand how the working how you can uh, make it adaptive because when you will change for example dimension of this point i mean when you will move it uh this point should move too so and i will show you how you can do that with the adaptive family uh so i think enough about uh, explaining and let's continue to create our adaptive families and as you already understand we should go now to the uh, create and here you should find the references and we will use the points element so let's place our point element somewhere on this uh, on this plane as you can see on the flat one uh, let's select all this uh, all these points and let's create it adaptive uh, now it doesn't matter how it's going the numbers we will change it later on so the main thing we should create the frame references line so i mean to create the boundaries we should create the lines again go to the uh, reference go to the line make sure this is 3d snapping it's on and connect uh, one point the second point third point and just continue like that so as you can see we have now our frame if i will move for example this dot somewhere here the our line is following uh following this dot it doesn't matter uh you don't need to line uh, to the points because this is adaptive family it means the family your your family should adapt uh, by these points okay here is our line but we not will create now geometry the point is we will create now the middle one uh surface the i mean the hole to uh where we will place our glass okay the first thing we should go again to the reference here you should uh, find again points but we not will place points somewhere we will place it on the line as you can see if we will place somewhere the, we have the big dot but if we will place on the line it's smaller one just remember about it let's place one two here and one two here it's just only for explanation so we will, i will try to explain you how this dot working so let's select this dot and what we have with, dot, with this dot as you can see here on the right side or maybe here under under properties you will find normalize curve parameter so let's i will change this to for example to 0 0.6 so if i will change to oh i, I used the, the not not right symbol so i will do like this and as you can see when i using 0 0.6 it changing the position why it changing position and what doesn't mean this is 0 0.6 so um just let's try to understand this first coordinate this is second coordinate for this dot this first coordinate this is zero the last coordinate this is one so what we have the between it's from the zero to the one so i think you understand this thing from the zero to the one so that's why we are using on this point it's 0 0.6 uh, and that's why uh, we will uh, move our point so the zero will be here and one will be here i think this is pretty simple uh, anyway we can change direction uh, 
As you can see here, the measurement form, its direction, be, uh, we're starting from beginning. So as I said, here the zero, and it means beginning for this point. We can change beginning, for example, to the end, and let's change it again, 0 0.6, and you will see now, so again, uh, and you will see now it's changing direction now to that side. So I will show you one more time, 0 0.8, let's say, and as you can see, it's going more close and close to the one. So for this uh, dot, the end so the end it means that one we will change from beginning we will use from beginning and let's leave it 0 0.2 for that one let's select them and let's check it out what we have here let's say i want a 0 0.2 also 0 0.2 and we cannot place the <laughs> On the same position so I for this dot I should change beginning to the end so I'm changing to beginning to the end and don't forget change the number again so as you can see now this position this dot on this position and this dot on this position and uh, because I changed the starting uh, point for that dot if you will increase the number that dot will move there for that dot if you will increase number dot will be moved there so I think it's pretty simple but we're not finished yet so now you understand how to use the uv point so from the zero to the one but let's say you want some real numbers so for example you want to make the frame like 100 millimeters how you can how you can understand is it 100 millimeters or what so uh, by this method you not will understand so you should change measurement type from the normalized curve parameter to the uh let me see the segment light yeah uh segment light and as you can see this is 858 millimeters now so this diameter this distance uh the 800 millimeters so we can check it out just use the uh, dimension uh, from this dot to this dot and as you can see, yeah, this is true, 800 millimeters. So uh, when we're changing this uh, uh, measurement type, we now are using the millimeters. Let's say I will, him, I will do here 1,500 1, millimeters. And as you can see, we are using now millimeters. So this is your choice what the type measurement, uh, what the measurement type you are using. Mm, I will use the uh, normalized curve. For me, it's enough. Uh, but if you need real data, uh, for your panels, you can change it to the other one as I show you before. Now I can say you know everything about the dots. So let's select this uh, other dots and let's do the same thing. So here I want 0 0.2 and it will move here. So I should change beginning to the end and I will change it again 0 0.2. So just play around with this dot. So its dots should be make this uh, should be work this similar uh like the top top one and as you can see here everything okay so this is not finished uh actually i want to create uh two more dots uh let's go to the reference and we will create dots on this side and on this side everything same so just keeping up to work so here it's now 0 0.8 as i understand 0 0.8 is it's close to the one so i should change the beginning to the end and change here to 0 0.2 Okay, so let's continue with that one. Uh, here I will change straight away to 0 0.2. Uh, what's going on here? Uh, okay, 0 0.2 here. And last one. Last one, I should change the direction. And, and 0 0.2. Okay, so we did it. We have now all the points. So what we're going to do now? Now we will connect it and we will create geometry. You have two ways how you can connect your geometry. So I will show you the first way. You're going again to the reference line. You should choose the line and don't forget about 3D sniping. So let's uh, connect these vertical lines by this way. And I will show you the another way. You can select one point, just hold the control key and select other points. And after that, just click on the reference line and just on the spline. Oh, sorry. I didn't select that. Let's select that and spline. 
As you can see, it's automatically creating the line. But the one thing, don't forget, when you will create line like this way, your line should change to the reference line. Just select your line and go to the is reference line and select on. Now line going to be green color. So it means this is line, it's reference. Uh, so again, you can use the line, you can select two points and just click on the spline. Okay, we get our shape. Uh, now you think like, oh, what's going on, Nico? I not understand what's going on here. Everything is simple. We will use the boundary to create our frame and we will use this in internal boundary to create our opening. That's it. So let's create the opening first. We will go again to the reference line. Oh, oh guys, don't forget all these lines will, what we have created right now. This is uh, like the reference plane. So we not will use this to create geometry. We will use this to place our geometry. So as you can see, if I will move, for example, something, it's moving together. So and this dot will be uh, the f this uh, boundary of my uh, internal frame. As you can see, this is will be my internal boundary. So let's go back to the uh, reference line. Let's use the line again. 3D stamping, don't forget about the chain. And let's connect from this intersection to that intersection and just continue to internal frame like that. So as you can see, if we will uh, hold our mouse key here, you can see we get loop lines. If I will move this dot, for example, somewhere like this, we still we have this uh, internal line. So uh, the first thing I will select uh, external line and I will create the form. Just create the form. Revit will ask us which type of the form we want extrude all the plane. We will use for now plane. So about extrusion, we will talk about the next tutorial. Let's do the plane. And let's select now the internal line. Let's do the uh, open the form and let's do the solid form. Again, uh, external one or solid one. Let's use the solid one. But as you can see, solid one, it's not working here because our geometry now working in uh, 3D, uh, 3D dimension. Let's do Ctrl Z and let's select it again. And let's create the our void form, but already extrusion one. So we did extrusion one. Uh, don't think about everything now. So I just want to show you how it's working. As you can see, our panel is working perfectly. If you will uh, to put some to some another dimension, it's still working. And you can see we uh, have opening and opening. It's automatically following our dots. So the nice thing is uh, if I will change, for example, dimension, I mean the distance of that dot. Let's select this dot. As you can see, 0 0.2. I will change to 0 point, let's say 5. And as you can see, uh, my opening will change too. So guys, for this tutorial, it's more than enough. Try to create your own plane family. And the next tutorial, we will talk about 3D panel. So we will make extrusion and we will talk about the parameterize these all points. So thank you for watching guys and see you next. To support my channel, you can go to Gumroad, check that my store. There you can find bottle of this dynamo scripts or you can buy two story complete house or even the two story residential classic house. By this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys. And that's it from today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.